This is Anything But Footy. I'm Michael. I'm John. Year two of the International Swimming League, or ISL, the world's first professional team swimming league, is getting underway. It consists of ten global clubs, including the London Raw, and last year's inaugural winners, Standard Energy Paris, with squads stockpiled from the best female and male swimmers on the planet. And this year, to beat the COVID restrictions from October 16th to November 15th, the Duna Arena in Budapest will be the single location for the major competition. From a British perspective, there's 36 GB swimmers across the seven teams, including obviously Olympic champion Adam Peaty for the Raw, whose head coach is also his head coach, Mel Marshall. Champions Paris have Ben Proud and Georgia Davis, and once again, head coach James Gibson. The action is being shown on TV across 140 countries, including the BBC, Red Button and Eurosport in the UK, with organisers promising five weeks of action, emotion, entertainment and excitement. British sailor and confirmed for Team GB next year in Tokyo, Elliot Hansen, kept up his good form by being crowned the European champion at the Laser Class European Championships in Gdansk in Poland. The 26-year-old from Macclesfield actually beat fellow Brits Michael Beckett and Lorenzo Chiaverini as all three filled the podium in a historic result for Great Britain. The first time that's ever happened in the laser class. And we know next year's London Marathon will be in October 2021, hopefully with a mass start, unlike this year's bubble, but there'll still be a mass race in the capital in April next year, all being well. The Vitality Big Half returns to the streets on Sunday, April 25th, the usual date of the full marathon. Hugh Brasher, event director of London Marathon Events, says we are confident we can stage it in a safe, socially distanced way. More than 16,000 runners took part in the race this year in early March before any lockdown crossing the finish line at the Cutty Sark. And download our weekly Anything But Footy podcast for all the latest Olympic and Paralympic news, interviews and conversations. We're on Apple and Google Podcasts. Just search Anything But Footy.